So my name is Clark Haynes. I'm with the uh, National Robotics Engineering Center, and uh, we're part of the Robotics Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. And we're sort of a facility that really takes research prototypes and creates uh, real-world robots that can go out and do work. And uh, this robot with me right now is called CHIMP. It is the CMU Highly Intelligent Mobile Platform. Uh, so he's a, a mobile robot. He locomotes around on his own. He's uh, fully autonomous as far as power and, and uh, everything is, all the sensing that he needs is on his head. And he's designed for the uh, DARPA Robotics Challenge. So this is a new uh, $2 million prize uh, that's been set by the government to push the state of the art in uh, semi-autonomous humanoid robots. And these robots are, are meant to operate uh, with humans and do tasks for humans. And it's inspired by the Fukushima uh, nuclear disaster where if someone had gone in and turned a single valve in the nuclear power plant, a uh, disaster would have been far lessened. And the hope is that we can use robots for that. So, uh, CHIMP is designed to compete in the DARPA Robotics Challenge. Uh, we've actually gone halfway through the challenge and uh, CHIMP is one of the finalists. Uh, we had the uh, uh, DARPA Robotics Challenge trials last December and CHIMP was, was one of the top competitors and DARPA cut the funding to the, the bottom half of the competitors and we're continuing on to the finals. And the robot has to drive cars, he has to go across really uneven terrain and upstairs and ladders. And then once he gets places, he has to do things. So he has to use tools. He actually breaks through walls using his hands and tools. He turns valves and uh, manipulates hoses. So he's really a robot that's meant to save the day. A uh, few bits about some of the technology that comes out of a robot like this is that he's got an entire head full of sensors so he can understand the environment around him. Uh, he has really, really powerful uh, joints on his arms and legs and he's about four times the strength of a human even though he's about the same size of a human. Uh, so there's a lot of really great technology that's brand new coming out of CMU that's gone into this robot and of course we're pushing forward for the DARPA Robotics Challenge uh, finals and uh, want to see if we can win it. So uh, you can follow us at tartanrescue.org and thank you very much.